Hey guys, it's Kelly with my Metamorphosis and I am back with another Dollar Tree haul for you all. So grab a drink, grab a snack, sit back and relax and let's enjoy this haul together. Okay, so a couple things before I forget. I hope you guys made it through the last video because if I had been you watching that, I would have, once the sound started going wonky, I would have thought, oh my gosh, it's going to be like this for the whole video. So it wasn't because Kitty eventually got off of my lap. I keep forgetting that I have this microphone on <laughs> she was right up against it you guys i actually put it on my sweater last time i had it just at the top of my dress um but could you hear her purring that's what that was <laughs> she was purring like it was literally picking up her purr from her body into the microphone. <laughs> I am so very sorry, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to try to be more mindful of that. I did put it up a little further too, or just kind of in a little different spot. And, oh, Lord help me. Let's get on into this Dollar Tree haul. Okay, so let's just get a few food items out of the way. Guess what? This bag was stuck in my car and never got hauled. Um, I don't know, the boys brought the bags in, so I don't know if it was in the trunk uh, and just got missed or what. But yeah, there's a couple things that were supposed to go into Easter bags. So I knew I had more when I was filling up those bags and I just thought, okay, maybe not. So anyway, um, I think that I ended up getting another one of these anyway for Sutton because I knew I had gotten one and was looking everywhere for it. So we'll just put this in our candy bowl. It's just the little Kit Kat miniatures and you get three ounces but i'm so bummed that i didn't get to put these in there um because these were literally as i went in um into the line to cash to get checked out these were the only two that were left so these are by um olivier's and they're the um the chocolate, white chocolate pretzels. Two white chocolatey pretzel rods. And I'm gonna tell you right now, these, if you go get them at any specialty store, are a whole different ball game as far as price. So, so yeah, um, kinda curious if they're still good or if they're gonna be stale. Um, I'm not a huge pretzel fan, but I love me a covered pretzel. So, oh, wow. Okay. So yeah, best before October 3rd, 2022. Yep. Both of them. So I'll give those to the boys. These were supposed to go into their, um, baskets, bags, Easter bags as well. And these are the Rondoletti delicious cream wafers in in cookies and cream you can see the cookies and cream right there sorry there are people outside of um our apartment somewhere i can hear people talking so um so yeah you can get 3.88 ounces so i got two of those and there's the other one and I will be right back. All right, guys, I had to get rid of the the glare in front of me. So, um, so yeah, picked up two of those and I'll just give those to the boys. They can just munch on those. And 
then I grabbed one of the Pillsbury traditional vanilla cake mix. We're going to do some cupcakes lately. You guys have seen me cupcakes lately. We're going to do some cupcakes soon. Um, you've seen me hauling the some other frostings and stuff lately. So just got the white. The boys like the white, especially Trace. I do too. I'm not a big chocolate cake fan. We've talked about this before. All right. Excuse me. My nose is kind of stuffy. This was supposed to go into Sutton's bag. He loves red vines. I do too. And yep, these are, these are good. I mean, it's not like they've been out there for months in the car, but Anyway, I think this is a great deal for a buck twenty-five. Five point five ounces. And these we're gonna go to Trace. Did I buy another one of these and put them put them in his bag? I think I did because again I was looking for them and was like, where I am I losing it? I swear I bought these. So anyway, these don't expire. All this candy really doesn't expire until. So it says anyway, I don't know. I'm weird about that. Um, like I don't, I'm super picky when it comes to something tasting stale. But anyway, these are good until January, 2024. So these are the Sour Dudes Soft Filled Sour Straws, or at least I got him something similar to this and put it in his Easter bag. Anyway, so they'll, they'll have time to, to eat those. And then these two were supposed to go in there. And these were like the first, this is like the first Easter stuff I even bought. You guys know, I've, I've said it before, Sutton loves the Mike and Ikes. I got him the, he, I think he likes the blue the best, but this, I just got him something a little different. The Tropical Typhoon. Yeah. And Trace um, loves the purple Skittles. Well, I shouldn't say he loves the purple Skittles, but he had been talking to me about, he's like, I don't know why I never get the wild berry, the purple Skittles. So I had gotten him these for Easter. All right. Um, you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, I, I do not organize my, my hauls. Just so happens that there's a bunch of food items in this one. I was really excited to find this and I'm looking forward to eating it um, for lunch one day. Um, so it's by Starkist and they're the um, Starkist Creations Microwavables. And this one is in tomato basil. I think that was the only flavor they had. So as you can see there, it just looks like you pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, fully cooked, enjoy heated or unheated, microwave 30 seconds. To be honest with you, I um, don't know that I'm going to heat these up. But anyway, these are 4.5 ounces and I bought two of them. I figured it was a safe bet that I would like those. Bought just a little backup milk. I love it when they have these ones. The, the, they are the Dairy Pure. It's got a, one of the whole milks in a quart size. Yeah, that's good till September. All right. So, let's see. Well, I'm not saying we're not going to run into any more food items, but I doubt it. Um, there's no more in here. So I grabbed one of these. It's by Homebright, the disinfectant spray, and it's the linen scent. And we always get these for the bathroom. And then, you know, I use it on um, doorknobs and that sort of thing. Six, oun six ounces. Grabbed some magnets. I can't remember what the sizes are, the, you know, the quantity 
is for these, I, I know this is obviously a 12 piece, but I want to say that there's a 14 piece or something. But anyway, this was all they had. Or maybe this is the bigger one. I don't know. Comment down below and let me know if you know. So these are the little magnet magnetic buttons. And those are for some crafts that I'll be sharing with you. Some DIYs. And these are as well... And this is the only color they had, which is totally fine because I'll probably paint them anyway. And they are the little plastic buttons in different sizes. You get blue, pink, purple, yellow, and you get 90 pieces. I think that's a great deal. I did not turn on the fan because that's another thing you could hear in the background. But I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm at that age. I gotta do it. And I'm trying not to... Hold on one sec. Okay, I've got it on the lowest, set, lowest setting and I was trying not to, like, I'm leaning over myself. Trying not to bump this guy. Okay. Um, another craft thing I've told you recently, I told you recently that I, um, I get the praying one, um, paints because they're large and I love this, um, kind of taupey color. So I got that. They are, um, eight ounces. My voice is shaky. I don't know what's going on. Um, after my last haul, I actually got a massive headache, like not right after my haul, but which I've been, I've had a headache for days, but it went away. And then all of a sudden it came back to, you know, later this afternoon. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm just falling apart. <laughs> so, um, I got some of the LA Colors eyeliners, the auto eyeliners, they're the shimmer ones, the new ones, and I was so happy to find these at one of the, one of our Dollar Trees. This is the purple one called Party Time. This is a green one called Jammin'. And this is like a cream colored whitish one called, oh, it's like a pearl. Yeah, the color is pearly white, which is exactly what it is. So there's that one. All right. And I forgot to show you the bag. The bag. <laughs> I have a blue one of these as well, but I found a, a, um, a gray one. So just please bear with me for a minute. And let me get this stuff in here. And um, if you didn't let me know last time in my last video, first of all, if you didn't watch it, please go watch it. And um, if you didn't let me know how, how you're doing, please do so. I want to hear how everyone is doing. Um, I do want to say... Um, something else as well so um <clears throat> excuse me as most if not all of you know all of us know um jay from frugal jay needs continued prayers for her son joel who is in i Correct me if I'm wrong, Jay, if you're watching this, an induced coma. Um, and this is after a horrific motorcycle accident, and he is not well. So, um, you know, please pray for Joel, and please pray for Jay. I cannot, I said this last time, as a mom, can't fathom it. I can't, I don't want to. 
Um, she needs us now more than ever. So, um, let's just be there for her. And then we've got Callan, who I just mentioned in my last video, Crazy Days of Callan. I got off of uh, filming my last video, saw that she had posted something. I All I had to see was her thumbnail, and I knew something was wrong. And then I read that her husband is in the ICU. So her husband is in the ICU. And I'm only sharing both of these things because they have shared openly with everybody and so please don't think that i am sharing uh you know like private information um so i callan is a new friend of mine um she um explains in her video today a little bit more about stuff that I just I wasn't around like I didn't know her I wasn't I hadn't found her channel yet and that sort of thing um she shares how there's been a couple years couple of years at least of a lot of ups and downs with her husband's diabetes and I'm not sure if he got diagnosed from diabetes 2 to 1 or if he just got diagnosed from like living. He had been living with it, didn't know he had it, and then got diagnosed right to diabetes 1. Either way, he's in the ICU and she was literally a couple hours from losing him. Um, the doctors were just frank with her and said... If he had not come in for medical attention when he did he would have been gone in a couple of hours so please please pray for our Callan pray for our Jay pray for I totally just spaced Callan's husband's name I'm so sorry uh, pray for her her husband God knows pray for Joel Jay's son and um, and so, um, you know, they just really need us right now. And her husband's name is just like on the tip of my tongue. And I know it starts with an R. And I'm so sorry, Callan, if you're watching this. So um, I'm telling you right now, Richie, that's her, her husband's name, Richie. I'm telling you right now. It's not even that I believe in the power of prayer. It's that I know firsthand the power of prayer is real. It is powerful. Um, it is miraculous. And it is not just something that we just like throw those words around. Like, oh yeah, I'll pray for you. Like it, if we dig our heels in and really bring it to God, I'm telling you right now, I, I can't count the miracles that I've seen in my own personal life. I want to see those miracles happen in my friends' lives. So let's just come together and please, please, please be there for them and for all of our YouTube family, both, you know, as YouTube sisters, um, as YouTubers and YouTube sisters as um, YouTubers who love our subscribers as sisters and brothers. And let's just be there for one another, please. Okay. So, sorry, it feels weird to go right from that into this, but we're going to just move on. So, I have one of these in the green, and I can't remember what the scent is, but this is by Polio. They're the deodorant wipes. They come in the cutest packages. This one's lavender and aloe vera, and you get 30 wipes. Freshen up on the go. This got a little bent, but you guys, 
I absolutely could not pass this up. Okay, so even though there's no hot pink in our living room, or there's not going to be any hot pink in our living room, I've got all kinds of succulent type stuff that's going to be added to our um, to our decor. And so I thought, you know what, with the corally orange ones and the pink ones together, it just kind of blends. So I am definitely going to put some of these up. Now, I am not going to put up the You Grow Girl in the living room, but I will put that somewhere else, uh, maybe on my on a tablet, one of my um, tablets, which by the way, I only have more than one. I only have one period because my mom, I think I might have told you this before, is an avid reader. I'm surprised she ever went to reading from a Kindle, but she did years and years ago. And she always upgrades and she always like she's an also an avid Amazon shopper. So like she always gets amazing deals. So we just get these older Kindles just passed down to us, which is wonderful. There's nothing wrong with them. And so I have a couple different sizes. But anyway, so there's that. And then there's this side, which I will be putting in here. Just let it grow. These are just super adorable. So counting all the little dots, the polka dots, there's 23 pieces. All right, you guys saw my kind of mustardy yellow uh, little uh, macrame plant hanger. And I told you I had another one as well, which is the green one. And so you'll see what I'm doing with that. I think gr that's a great deal for a buck twenty-five. I had been looking and looking and looking for um, this little skull, um, sugar skull air freshener because I just love that color. It looks like it glows in the dark. I can't remember if I looked to see if it did. Yeah, I, I don't think it does, but um, so cute. So I've told you before, I have a pink one right now in the car and I have a yellow one that I, um, I might just stick in my room and then put this one in the car. So they're so cute. This one's an apple, apple scent. All right, I've got a, couple more um, toilet papers. I'm going to rave about these because I do every once in a while. If you snub <laughs> these Dollar Tree toilet papers or if you're like, mm -mm, I'm not getting that. I'm going to get the brand name ones that come to the Dollar Tree. I'm telling you right now, you are wasting your money. Those go way faster and these are really good. I promise you. I promise you, um, there's bad toilet paper and there's good toilet paper and this is one of the good ones. So, all right, I had to get it. Thankfully I have little pops of, of yellow in our apartment. So it's the let it be like you. Most of you, some of you, whatever, I love everything B, except an actual B because <laughs> they scare me. <laughs> but I love decor in the, you know, I love the B decor. And this has such a sentimental um, meaning to us. And that is that my dad um, was a huge Beatles fan. My dad also was um, a singer songwriter and I grew up singing with him and let it be as we know is one of the Beatles songs and this song was very much a part of um, our time when we were grieving the loss of him so there's that don't laugh at me 
<laughs> you can laugh at me. It's okay. <laughs> but, um, you know, I stroll down the party aisle every now and then. And I told you guys a while ago, I don't, I forget how many cool items are down there. So I strolled down there again the other day and I had to get this because you all know I have a pink vanity. No, it is not painted pink. It is um, just a wooden desk, old school desk with an old school mirror sitting like just you know, on the back of it, on the, on the back top of the desk. It is my vanity and everything on it is pink. So I promise you already know, I'm going to share it with you one of these days. But anyway, this is a Mardi Gras mask, but I thought how cute. I mean, I have stuff like hanging off my mirror and stuff. And so how cute is this little um, pink mask? So I'm going to definitely hang that up there in my girly, girly room. Oh, yeah. See, here's another thing that got. I already ran across some other Easter things that actually. So the signs I ran across. I just didn't get up in time. These items I found after the fact. Our closest Dollar Tree put things out so late this year. And I was like, I don't care. I'm grabbing them for next year. This was one of those things. So um, it's the little galvanized tin bucket. Cottontail Farms. The bunny. I'm sorry, you guys. There's still a little bit of a glare. Do you remember? Do you remember? <laughs> okay, first of all, don't ever judge me by the singing that I do on here. <laughs> Secondly, um, yeah, I know I've been in a singing mood today. So, um, oh, this almost looks like a little bit of a different color. Maybe not. No, it's not. I can see it hanging on my door right now. So I grabbed the crossbody purse for this and I told you guys I had found some matching little wristlets. So this is one for that to match the crossbody purse. I wish they had a crossbody one for this. Look at this. Very boho. Boho. And it's purple. And I love it. <laughs> oh. Cocoa treats. So, um, all right. I'm thinking that this bag is older than I initially thought it was. Okay. Anyway, um, this is the red eucalyptus. Absolutely love this. I think it's beautiful. And here's another one. I got the gnome one. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's so cranky and he's like holding the sign egg hunt. Now hurry up. <laughs> so it's happy Easter. <laughs> Look, at Look at like where his beard parts. It even looks like he's frowny and he's sitting there like bah humbug Easter style. So there's that one. All right. And I got these gorgeous stickers. I love daisies, sunflowers, Gerber daisies. And so I had to get these. These ones have like almost like a shiny plasticky um, and they're, they're, all, they're a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit raised. Um, sort of a look there. So you get 10 pieces. And then these ones are like the puffy little Gerber daisies. Gorgeous. 10 pieces as well. Oh gosh, you guys, I totally forgot I got this. I was so excited to find this. Again, I am like not up to par on watching all my YouTube sisters videos. I have been sporadically all over the place, like catching one here or catching one there, or, you know, and normally like I'll sit down 
and I'll catch up, like I'll binge watch, you know, one of my um, YouTube sisters and then move on to the other one. And I just have been so busy and gotten so distracted. So I don't know if anyone has hauled this. Um, I haven't personally seen anyone haul it, but I know someone has somewhere. So this is by City Color, and it's the Illuminating Setting Spray. And it's alcohol and paraben free. And that's what that looks like. So does say shake well and I can see why because like the high the beautiful like shimmer is kind of hanging out on the bottom and oh let's see here quick drying setting spray with a hint of shimmer for an illuminating finish um, and it's distributed by beauty plus global so I don't know if it's like, you know, quote, name brand, or if it has anything to do with like global beauty care or anyway, but I thought it was cool and I thought I'm going to try it, especially since the summer's coming. All right. Here is another one of those bags and the teal one does have the pocket. So again, the red and gray, at least the ones I got, do not have the pocket but the teal and black ones do so all right where are we at time wise um i'm going to show you just a couple more things because i'm trying to keep these videos to 30 minutes let's go ahead and get oh let me show you this had to had to old school love them um so just i'm going to show you a couple more um, of the shore living decor stuff and look at this of course it's going in our living room and it says life is better at the beach it's got this wooden starfish you guys this is gorgeous and a buck 25 I think that's a steal I know that some of my YouTube sisters and people in general are just not not into the nautical stuff and um, I don't know if it like has to do with where you grow up but like I was sharing in my last video um, you know like just growing up with water all around me I mean like we just it's it's my heart you know and so so yeah it's like it doesn't strike me strange that people don't like that look because a lot of those people love to go to the beach as they've mentioned um, but it's just not their cup of tea as far as style goes and you know they probably didn't grow up near water or they just don't like them <laughs> so anyway not sure where I was going on that little little rant okay let's go ahead and just take this off and then so I got this one um, and this is find me by the sea I love the um, seahorse and look at the beads up here and the teal and the black so pretty like the shiplap all right you guys let's see so um, you one more little box art this is the surf sun and sand love that all right and I'll show you one more why not <laughs> I keep seeing nautical stuff had to get the beach one um, Oh yeah, they did do something to that. So that's the natural side. And then this is the, the side that it would show because of the way it reads. So I absolutely love that. I, I'm sure I probably won't do anything to that. I love the natural look. And let's see guys. 
I just want to sit here with you all day and just keep doing this. Can I? Please? <laughs> so, all right. Okay, we'll do this one and then I'll go ahead and close this down. Um, they have various ones of these um, little wall hooks and uh, I got the one with the shell and I don't know, what are those called, you guys? Oh, it's seaweed. It's seaweed. <laughs> anyway, I just was trying to get like, you know, a little bit of mermaid, a little bit of seahorse, a little bit of shell, a little bit of, you know, whatever in here. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love you. I appreciate you. And I mean that with everything I am. And let's please, please, please hold our friends near and dear to our hearts. Um, you guys, you stay safe. You stay blessed, my butterflies. And I will see you very soon. Good night.